Wow. I'm seeing here, legitimately, you have yes. to sign a waiver yeah. if you would like to try fire in the home. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 restaurants where you have to sign a waiver. Once you order the wings, we make you sign a waiver. So we have a waiver here just to let you know how hot it is. For this list, we're looking at the most notable dining establishments that either require a waiver on entry or before a customer orders a certain dish from the menu. We've also included restaurants that host food challenges that pose a risk, however small, to a person's health. There are no waiver requirements in order to leave a comment, so let us know what you think below. Number 20. Benny's. Various locations. Do you love pizza? Want to make 240 bucks and find yourself in Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Pennsylvania, Michigan, or Wyoming? If so, make your way to a Benny's location near you between 2 and 5 p.m. and 8 and 11 p.m. and have a go at their pizza challenge. All you have to do is eat a 28-inch pizza in what the site describes as, quote, record time. That might not sound big, but one look at these pies and you know it ain't gonna be easy money. As for the waiver, all participants must complete one stating whether they are an amateur or professional eater. Pros get $100 for the win, while amateurs get $280, but you have to purchase the $40 pizza to enter. It tasted really good. It was very chewy, but we got it done here. Number 19, the ice cream store, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. No, this ice cream shop in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware doesn't have customers put pen to paper on a waiver to protect them from the repercussions of massive brain freeze. But they do require a signature to enjoy a scoop of their Devil's Breath Carolina Reaper pepper ice cream, for reasons that are self-explanatory. This particular flavor takes their already hot Scorpion Sting flavor to a new level with a number of other hot sauces as well as the ghost peppers. Mike, is it hot yet? Oh my God. <laughs> and for those wondering, the scorpion sting did come with a real scorpion on top, though it's unclear if it's still available. Can anyone handle the heat? Number 18. Giant Burger, Springfield, Oregon It's probably safe to assume that a restaurant that calls itself Giant Burger has some giant burgers. But we didn't quite see a five-pound offering coming, especially not one that reportedly comes with a waiver attached. To be clear, it's just the meat that weighs five pounds after grilling. It's a little bit ridiculous. I, I could never do it. But not on my hungriest day. The challenge itself is simple. Participants are given one hour to down the item, as well as an accompanying serving of french fries, plus 10 more minutes to keep it down. To say it's a daunting task would be an understatement. Those who emerge on the other side victorious, however, don't have to pay for the sizable meal. Truth be told, that is a big meal. Number 17, Joella's Hot Chicken, various locations. Joella's offers multiple different spice levels to choose from, including one made using ghost peppers. We season that in our secret recipe, which will give you that southern flavor. And we can also spice that to your liking. We have Ella's Fave, which is uh, sweet with a little heat, and we go all the way up to waiver-worthy fire in the hole. But you know what? You can ingest their 100% antibiotic-free, hormone-free, all-natural chicken with ghost pepper level heat without having to complete a waiver. And this is our brand new ghost pepper heat level. Ooh. So ghost so. pepper isn't quite as hot as fire in the hole. Correct. It's because hotter than hot. The reason for that is because that isn't even the hottest heat level they offer. That honor goes to their fire in the hole concoction, crafted with the Carolina Reaper pepper. That choice, per their site, is indeed waiver worthy. We see why, since as of 2023, the Carolina Reaper pepper is actually the Guinness record holder for world's hottest chili pepper. Now it's it. Ooh. Are we going for Okay. Two? Nope. Wow. Two? Okay, Ooh. that is a uh, fire in the hole. Number 16, Quaker Steak and Lube, various locations. On its website, Quaker Steak and Lube states its mission as wanting their customers to leave the restaurant, quote, completely recharged and refueled and making sure they have fun while doing it. We believe them, except maybe when it comes to their eat heat challenge. Believe it or not, this pain was actually something customers asked for. We had a lot of requests for a hotter sauce. And they delivered it with the eat heat sauce. Maybe it's just us, but trying to finish six bone-in chicken wings smothered in a sauce made with scorpion pepper venom and concentrated capsaicin doesn't sound like fun. Oh, I'm a little dab guy. So, as a bonus, <laughs> 
when I ordered these, the challenge was six wings. It's hot. Just saying, those words make our tongues burn. That's probably why you need to sign a waiver releasing the restaurant of any liability before trying to conquer this meal. We like to have a very unique atmosphere and fun environment, so adding the challenge to it and spicing it up a little bit makes it a little better. Number 15. Deli, Sushi, and Desserts, San Diego, California. They say everything's bigger in Texas, but when it comes to sushi rolls, you'll have to go to San Diego to get a monster one. At Deli, Sushi, and Desserts, they actually call it the monster roll. More specifically, they mean a five to six pound roll cut up into giant hamburger-sized pieces. It can be yours for only $32 plus tax. But if you can finish it in 15 minutes or less, you get it for free. And you get your picture on the Wall of Fame. If it takes you longer, though, your photo goes on the much less desirable Wall of Shame. Either way, you must also complete a waiver before chowing down. That was very delicious. I wish I could have enjoyed that a little bit more. Number 14. Big Roddy's Rippin' Rib Shack, Brisbane, Australia. The U.S. isn't the only country with waiver-required food challenges. Australia also has its share of mega meals to chow down on. Or should we say chow down under on? Big Roddy's bills itself as Brisbane's finest ribbery. Come check us out. You're sure to leave itching for more. For $100 and a waiver of liability, you can have a go at their Hungry Horn Challenge. It includes a full rack of pork ribs, double bone of beef ribs, your choice of poutine or chili fries, one kilogram of buffalo wings, and a double serve of coleslaw. Oh, and you only have an hour to finish it if you want a $100 voucher, a spot on the Hungry Horn Hero Wall, and a shirt that qualifies you for a discount. It's best to try this one on an empty stomach. Number 13. Sunny Skies Homemade Ice Cream, Anger, North Carolina Sunny Skies is an ice cream joint in Anger, North Carolina that offers an amazing variety of over 130 flavors for customers to enjoy. Sunny Skies is a neighborhood institution that serves up over 90 unique flavors. Scrolling through their list of options, you'll see everything from apple pie to banana pudding to mint Oreo and chocolate orange. If you're paying attention, you'll also notice two super spicy flavors that include a parenthetical note stating must sign waiver. These are dubbed cold sweat and exit wound. That's supposed to be a sweet, delicious dessert? No, it's supposed to be hot enough for you to respect it. Crafted using a variety of hot peppers and sauce, they are not for the faint of heart. That explains the form ensuring the ice cream shop won't be held liable. One customer described the experience to NBC News as tasting, quote, like fire, with a side of fire. Number 12. Zauo. Various locations. Do you want to go out for dinner but also want to go fishing? At Zauo restaurants, you can do both, literally. Sure, we're all familiar with seafood restaurants where you're able to select your lobster from among those in a tank. But at Zauo, you can actually catch your own fish. Just rent a pole, put pen to paper on a waiver, and go ahead. Uh, I think I got uh, one. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! There you go. Oh. 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 Then tell them how you want it made and enjoy. Should you decide not to fish for your food, there's no waiver required, since that eliminates any of the potential risks. The establishment's New York location has reportedly been shuttered, but you can still check out a variety of their locations if you're in Japan. Mm. So good. Number 11. McKibben's Irish Pub, Montreal, Canada. The beautiful city of Montreal, Quebec, Canada is notably famous for its smoked meat, bagels, and poutine, but it's also home to some very, very, very hot chicken wings. The wings, courtesy of McKibben's Irish Pub, go by the name of Rim Reaper and are sauced using the terrifyingly hot ghost pepper. While successfully scarfing down 12 of these gets you a t-shirt, you can also just order eight out of, as they put it, curiosity. Of course, there is one catch of sorts. As you've probably guessed, we're talking about the waiver you must sign, reportedly stating that you won't hold McKibben's responsible for, quote, effects to your body, 
health or soul. The full 12, maybe 10% of people. What's, what's the worst reaction that you've seen people have doing this? Straight up possible because of stomach pain. I've seen it happen where there's been three ambulances called. Number 10, smoke eaters, San Jose, California. But then this happened. When you sign up for a challenge dubbed Hellfire, you know you're potentially subjecting your taste buds to torture. Everybody, Hellfire Challenge! In order to successfully complete the challenge, customers need to down 12 absurdly hot wings in just 10 minutes' time. Though that doesn't sound too daunting, you might reconsider your decision to sign up after hearing about the second condition. In order to win, you need to go five minutes without access to any form of relief, so you can really feel the afterburn. I reached the last wing. Last one! Before the challenge, Hellfire hopefuls have to sign a waiver releasing the restaurant from any and all liability. Thanks, but we'll stick to our standard buffalo wings. In the battle of man versus food, today at Smoke Eaters, man won! Yeah! Number 9. Pearl Cafe, Florissant, Missouri when you have to prove your mettle before the restaurant will actually serve you the dish in question, you know you're in trouble. First, a waiver is signed. Then your epically hot odyssey of eating begins. You can then order whatever dish you like. But in order to try their level 100 spicy seasoning, you'll need to polish off three incrementally hotter plates of food first. For an extra fee, you can space these plates out over a few visits. But if you fail to finish a level 25, 50, or 75 dish, you start over. Kind of like in a video game. It's a true gauntlet of heat, and few make it through. Number 8. Soltoro Tequila Grill, Montville, Connecticut. I'll take the hottest burrito you have. Really? Yeah, I'm All ready. Right. At this Mexican eatery, owned by Michael Jordan and located in the Mohegan Sun Casino in Connecticut, you're actually facing two challenges in one. Not only do you have to overcome such serious levels of spice, you'll also have to fit a whopping three pounds of burrito into your stomach. Before taking on the Cinco Chiles Burrito Challenge, customers have to sign a waiver releasing the restaurant of liability should they experience any health issues after the fact. It's never advisable to eat three pounds of food, let alone of the super spicy variety. So maybe try one of the safer gambles elsewhere in the casino. Number seven, East Coast Grill, Cambridge, Massachusetts. It's time to see how I fare against the spiciest pasta in the world. When the restaurant was open, this was only available once a year. Requiring a signed waiver, this plate was aptly named the Pasta Plate from Hell. This is the hottest thing ever. Whew! Let's do it! On the former restaurant's annual Hell Night, Customers who wanted to test their taste buds against the tiny but mighty naga pepper used to flavor the dish had to sign a release acknowledging that the food they're about to eat is dangerous and may cause bodily harm. Signing this document, you are expressing your willingness and foolishness to eat what should not be eaten. And it's no joke. One year, a man attempting to finish the plate of pasta passed out on the way to his car, requiring an ambulance and medical attention. It's starting to kick in now, isn't it? No, I'm just thinking of something really sad. Number six, Bear Grills, Congleton, England. Bacon first. The average North American adult consumes between 1,778 and 3,000 calories a day. So how about 8,000 in one sitting? Cheese in this almost good. Bear Grills, a small English cafe with a punny name, boasts a mighty breakfast appropriately dubbed the hibernator, consisting of seven pounds of food. All right, now it's time to crush some of this bread. <laughs> Though it sounds like a multi-course and hours long affair, in order to be deemed a winner, the contestant must clean the platter in a single hour. Before letting anyone dig in, the cafe asks that customers release them from any, quote, injury received or incurred, while trying to get down the whopping pile of food by having them first sign, you guessed it, a waiver. This is Beard Meets Food, and this is how to gain half a stone in less than an hour. Number 5. Bushido, Charleston, South Carolina. Before 
before being allowed to order this special spicy tuna roll. Brave eaters must prove they're over 18 years of age and sign a contract clearing Bushido of all consequences resulting from the consumption of the fiery dish. Where the previous roll slowly built to an inferno inside me, the number eight feels like an atomic explosion. On the restaurant's website, it's made very clear that this roll isn't for everyone. During the Bushido Seppuku Challenge, contestants are prohibited from using ice cream, avocado, or milk to help quench the burning sensation overtaking their palate. Because a special blend of sauces is used, the rolls have to be ordered 24 hours in advance, so you'll want to plan ahead. You know what? Probably best to clear the rest of your day, too. Today, I am legend. Number 4. Chunky's Burgers, San Antonio, Texas Unleash hell! When the host of Man Vs. Food calls a burger the hottest on the planet, you know it must really bring the heat. First, jalapenos, one full serrano pepper, and three explosively hot ghost chilies are all combined into a spicy sauté. Topped with a mixture of jalapeno, serrano, and ghost peppers, coated in a habanero sauce, this burger comes with a generous 25-minute window in which it must be completed to win the challenge. An emergency bucket is provided. But if a participant can't keep the burger down, it means disqualification. Before sinking your teeth into the four horsemen, a waiver must be signed, releasing the restaurant from any injuries that occur while consuming. Forget the fries, the only side order this thing comes with is gastrointestinal distress. But this is brutal. The four horsemen searing assault is melting my inside. Number three, Brick Lane Curry, New York City, New York. All right, let's do it. I'm terrified. I have to wear protective gear to have food. The hottest fall curry in New York doesn't just cause some physical damage. Apparently, it can leave some emotional scars, too. Before taking on the hottest curry available at this restaurant, customers don't just have to sign a waiver. They have to make a recorded verbal disclaimer that they will not hold the restaurant liable for any physical or emotional trauma that occurs either during or after the challenge. Described as, quote, more pain and sweat than flavor, this is not a challenge for the faint of heart or weak of tongue. There's so much of it, it's kind of unrelenting, and it's, uh, it's beating me. It's pretty freaking hot. Number two, Flying Pie Pizza, Boise, Idaho. A dish that requires special training in order to be safely made or even handled, the flaming habanero pizza offered at this restaurant can only be enjoyed, if we can call it that, without a waiver if kept inside the restaurant. Before a customer chooses to walk out with the pizza, a waiver has to be signed acknowledging that they understand what they've signed up for, and that though it's gonna burn, he'll be fine after a little while. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just felt that run through my entire body. Only available in August to maximize the spiciness of the habanero peppers, this pizza is perfect if you find yourself craving just a little more of that summer heat. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jake Melnick's Corner Tap, Chicago, Illinois Settled innocently among other less life-threatening wings, the triple X wings at Melnick's require a signed waiver and are known to cause intense coughing, occasional choking, and some consistently intense pain. I got my fireman's hat. I'm signing my waiver. All right, signed. I'm ready. Served with a fireman's hat and a little milk that's about as useful as a garden hose on a forest fire, these wings are coated with habanero, the scorpion and ghost chilies, or the boot jalokia, the world's hottest pepper in 2007. A pound of the wings have to be conquered in one sitting in order to claim a place on the wall of flame. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.